Mention migration at meetings of EU leaders these days, and many assume they're talking about stricter rules and allowing fewer people in. Certainly that's true for these three men, the interior ministers of Austria, Italy and Germany. I think the three of us agree that we want to restore order in an area where for much too long disorder reigned. From here we want to send a clear message to the world and especially to people smugglers that in future it will no longer be possible to reach European soil without the right to protection. His German counterpart wants to see much more of this sort of thing. Police controls on main routes into and out of southern Germany. Officers here say they've stopped around 1,500 illegal immigrants so far this year. There are three such control areas in operation along the border with Austria, which meanders for more than 800 kilometers across rivers, mountains and valleys alike, with lots of road and rail connections. And as that map makes clear, there are many border crossings like this one, where it's quite possible to walk or to drive from Austria into the Federal Republic of Germany without showing any identity documents, without being controlled, which means effectively that the German Interior Ministry will have no idea who's coming into their country. Yet that is the price of the German government's apparently continuing commitment to the EU's Schengen zone, creating a contradiction between wanting tougher border controls on the one hand and border-free travel on the other. We only want internal border checks as long as Schengen isn't working in the right manner. I am not in favor of border controls within Europe in the long term. The route from the Italian coast to the Bavarian border was one of the main routes many migrants used to travel to Germany over the past few years. Now it's increasingly clear the governments concerned want it closed as soon as possible. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, in Bavaria.